guys and welcome back to Car Focus. Um, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? It's been a couple of months. Um, I apologise, I've just been very lazy. In all honesty, I've been lacking a lot of motivation lately um, for YouTube and just cars in general, so I've just had a bit of time away. Um, but things have been ticking away in the background, hence this video. Um, I've whipped the old iPhone out, by the way. We're just going to do a, a quick iPhone um, vlog style video. But I don't know if you remember my daily... So I've obviously got the Mark II RS and I had a daily driver to go alongside that. So I had a Mark III Ford Focus um, Estate, 1.6 TDCI, did a video on it. Great car, cheapest chips to run. It was 100% reliable, it never failed on me at all. And I had it for two years and basically I've recently just sold it. Um, the reason I sold it was I was just getting bored. I was just getting bored of pooting around over the winter in a boring car, I mean, it wasn't fast, it just wasn't exciting to drive. And when the RS is away um, in the garage over the winter, I was basically just almost losing the will to live because I'm a car guy, I want to be driving something fun. So I thought, right, I'm going to sell it. So I sold it, it took me a day to sell it and I got a very good price for it. I had in mind what I wanted to buy. I'd already found what I wanted to buy and this is what this video is about. We're going to get to it in a minute. I'm going to show you the new car. It's behind the phone. Um, we're going to turn around in a minute and I'm going to show you it. Um, so yeah, I sold it. Went and had a look at the, the new car. Um, the new car was £5,000, by the way. I sold my estate for just under £6,000. And yeah, I've owned one of these cars before. I owned one in 2012. Um, so it's been a while. But I'm just going to cut to the chase in a minute, guys. I'm going to spin around and I'm going to show you exactly what it is. That I've bought. I don't know why I've done it because it's just not economical. It doesn't make any sense as a daily, but fuck it. Yeah, boy. It's a Focus ST. Look at that bad boy. Two five pots in the household. Yeah. So it's a five door, so it kind of makes it a bit more of a uh, a daily. And it's done 81,000 miles now, full service history. It's not mint, it's not mint. I will show you the issues that the car's got. Um, it's had cam belt and water pump, it's had clutch, um, it's had a new bonnet lock mechanism, an alternator as well. So all the common faults um, have been addressed previously with the previous owner who had it four years. Um, so yeah. I say it's fully standard, it's got a D-Res, so it's got the standard exhaust with a D-Res and it sounds really nice actually, it doesn't drone. And then at the back, it's got the uh, the rear light mod, which is what I did on my RS anyway. But I think I'll flip the camera around, we'll have a little walk around and I'll, um, I'll talk you around the car. So, here we go. It is a 2009 facelift uh, Mark II Ford Focus ST225. Pretty much standard trim. It's been crying. It's been weeping when I've um, done the washer jets. So yeah, overall condition of the car is pretty good. It's been used daily throughout its life. So, you know, it's not mint. It does have a few issues, which we'll cover as we walk around the car. We'll start at the front, as we're already here. So a lot of STs have got underneath the corner of the bumpers, scuffs they've got scuffs where they've hit curbs and stuff and this one is no exception you can see it under there it's got some touch-ups it's had some scuffs on the bumper some touch-up stick has been applied but it was five grand which is not a bad price really now the wheels have been refurbished so they're all absolutely mint i've ordered some new wheel nuts these four or these five sorry are fine but around the car the standard ford wheel nuts the caps come off over time so i've ordered some um some aftermarket wheel nuts to stick on there, which should arrive shortly. So a side, along the side of the car, this side's all right. It's got a couple of um, little dents. Uh, I don't know if you can see just over there. It's got a dent there in the door, a little bit of scuffing in the paint just there. But overall, it's not bad. Now the rear quarter, it's a Mark II Focus, so starting to rust a little bit there just bubbling a little bit under the paintwork that could easily be rubbed down probably blended in with that swage line there i don't think it'd be an issue moving around the back so we've obviously got the leds they've gone a little bit yellowy i guess that's a bit of uh, 
aging over time. I don't think my RS has that yellowy sort of tinge, but they work perfectly fine. It's no drama. Yeah, so the rear is pretty good. It's got parking sensors, they don't work. It needs a new reverse light switch, another common issue. That'll be something we will um, be changing. Probably do a video on that as well. Standard exhaust, it's all fine. So yeah, it's pretty standard, guys. I, was, I mean, I, I wanted a standard car. That was the brief, because a lot of these have been messed around with. And this one came up locally, and I was like, yeah. Um, tires, it's got budget tires, road cruiser. It's got these all the way around. It's got brand new ones on the front, so I'm not gonna change them yet. I'm just gonna, I'll probably just wear them out. It's not a car that I'm really gonna be hooning around massively. Um, it's just a bit of fun every now and then. But this side, now there was, basically something happened to this front arch and he had it resprayed and the door was blended. Now it looks good from here, but once you get it in the light, we've got a bit of ripple. Got a bit of a ripply effect there, look. Yeah. So yeah, it's not the best, not the best job there. But again, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's not It's not a car that I'm gonna be hugely precious over. If, I, if it turns out I wanna keep it and run it long term, Maybe it's something I'll sort out. I'm sure somebody that I'm sure somebody that knows what they're doing can sort that out. Back around the front. Main issue with the front of this car is these headlights. They are shit. Excuse my French. Projectors are buggered on the Xenons. Also, the side lights here are scorching the light. It's just a, a bad design by Ford. Over time, these the lights just because they're not LED. It just scorches the uh, the plastic. So I've got some LED side lights to go in. And then there's a company called Retrofit, uh, Retrofit Lab, I think they're called, and they send out two projectors for, I think it's 170 quid. And you've got to do a little modification to the lights. You've got to take the lights out. You can cut them to remove the old projectors and put the new ones in. But I may get a company to do that locally. Basically, I want to get some content with this car, so I think it'd be a good idea to do that. Another little issue with the front is the grill. It's not sitting quite flush. It's not in quite properly. I think it's probably where that failed matey boy had to pull the grill out to get to the mechanism to get the bonnet up um but yeah right anyway that's the outside of the car so it's not bad is it what do you think what do you think even the little decals so the decals the badges here they're pretty good they tend to go yeah so a few more issues are inside the car so i'll show you inside now the obvious one here is the seat yeah this seat's not great it's not great so I found a seat for 180 quid online, which I'm hoping to get my hands on. I've just got to work out logistics of how I'm going to get it because it's quite far away. I've got some Ford mats coming today. There was some really horrible mats in the car that were really worn out. Um, there's a little wear in the carpet there, but I've got some Ford mats coming. So I'll hoover that out later on and stick them in. Steering wheel is quite worn. I've got another steering wheel at home. Pick one up for 40 quid, which is in much better condition than that. So that will go in at some point. And then just the interior, just down here, this is looking a bit, it's supposed to be shiny, I think. So I might try and get a bit of auto sole or something like that, see if I can polish that up. This is a bit worn now. I mean, these are, it's nothing major. And the gator is uh, starting to rip. These are 10 a penny on eBay. They're, they're not too difficult to get hold of. So a few little interior bits to tidy up, but um, everything works. Heated seats work, everything side works. And then in the back, we've got the bench, which is pretty, pretty immaculate, really. Yeah. So that's it, guys. That is the car. Under the bonnet, there's a couple of things under the bonnet. Um, it's a standard engine. There's no tuning done to it. The owner did fit some coolant hoses himself. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll pop the bonnet open. I'll quickly show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. Under the bonnet. The heart of the beast. The five pot now it's nowhere near as clean as my rs my rs is pretty mint underneath now so these are the samco hoses that he fitted i think he had a split and he decided just to order a new coolant set now fair play i would have just gone oem and just kept it original black just standard ford items but he's decided to upgrade these fair enough and he's done it himself now it's a bit of a challenge i think doing these various bits have got to come off um to get all these in and he's done a pretty good job but i'd just rather it be tidied up um at some point like there's just like clips and stuff missing and there's a bit of a problem with the hose down there the gear selector is touching it um 
brings me on to another thing. One of the engine mounts is loose. And also I've, as I said, I said the reverse light switch isn't working. Um, that's down there. Oh, that's loose as well. So we'd have to get all this out to get to the reverse light switch and then we can access that hose at the same time. So probably two birds, one stone. Another issue is <laughs> you've got the coolant hoses here. Now there should, well, that shouldn't be copper piping. Now, when he was doing that, he said he broke the original, um, original pipe and the clip. So he's done a little DIY copper pipe there. It's working to be fair. It's not leaking or anything, but um, yeah. I just want to get that tidied up, get it proper. Um, just so I can rest assured none of these pipes are going to the leak, basically. So guys, that is it for the first video on my new car, my new daily driver, the Focus ST Mark II. I'm really stoked about it. I love it. Like I've driven it for a couple of days so far. I forgot how comfortable these are. Obviously, it's nowhere near as much as a beast as the RS. Completely different car, other than the engine and the body. But the way it drives and stuff is totally different. And we'll do a series of videos on this car and I'll, I'll do a comparison with this and the RS and I'll try and film each process. So I'm planning on taking the car to FJRS, getting it up on the ramp, having a good look around it, getting them to basically do a health check on it as well as a service. And then we'll know exactly um, where we are with the car and what I need to do. I'm hoping I don't have to spend too much money on it. But the engine is running sweet. It's just really smooth. There's no knocks or anything like that, no smoke or anything. It's pulling strong as well on boost. So yeah, that's it guys. So what do you think of the car? Let me know in the comments. Have I done a stupid thing by buying this? You only live once, didn't you? And these aren't getting any younger. If you wanna buy them, buy them now before they rot and just become very difficult to get hold of. So anyway, enough yabbering on from me. Until the next video with this car, as always, take care and I shall see you soon.